CBS 13 is on your side with Good Day Maine. 641, not giving up. Two couples struggling to conceive turn to an unexpected option. You know, part of me was really just nervous that I don't want anything bad to happen again. How a treatment known for easing people's pain helped them create new life. The CDC says about 10% of women in the U.S. have difficulty getting pregnant or staying pregnant. That means trying to have a baby for 6 to 12 months unsuccessfully. And that can take an emotional and financial toll on a couple. But there is hope with the help of acupuncture. Famous, Simon. <laughs> Simon is a month old. Good job. For mom Kelly, it wasn't easy. After trying for their first child for months, she had two miscarriages. It's like you just go through all kinds of ups and downs of is it me, is it him, is it, you know, is this how our life's going to be? And it kind of just feels like it's out of your control. That's when a friend told her about acupuncture. So this is uh, one of the classic acupuncture points. Research shows acupuncture can help women struggling with infertility. Physiologically, we, we know there have been some studies done that we know that we can actually help to increase blood flow to the uterus and to the reproductive organs. Catherine Alexander Anderson is the only board certified reproductive acupuncture practitioner in Maine and New Hampshire. Because I practice, in, practice integratively, I um, will look at all of the factors. I'll do a complete health history assessment, both from a Chinese medical standpoint and a Western medical standpoint. Hey. Kelly started acupuncture and Chinese herbal treatments with Anderson. Six months later, Kelly was pregnant. You know, part of me was really just nervous that I don't want anything bad to happen again but then the other part of me was like it I could tell that it felt differently another couple Tanya and her husband had been trying for six years with no luck all of a sudden you just realize that it could never happen she had tried intrauterine insemination unsuccessfully but wasn't emotionally ready for in vitro fertilization so she tried acupuncture of course I, um, I tried not to be to, to get to have like really high hopes. Studies show acupuncture combined with IVF or IUI can greatly increase the chance of conception. We use this a lot. We might warm up an acupuncture point, stimulate some blood flow. We don't burn the skin, but being close to the skin, you'll feel the heat. Shortly after seeing Anderson, I didn't believe when I um, went after only two months. Um, Catherine suggested, uh, even she kind of insisted on um, taking the, the pregnancy test. I was sure that it wouldn't work <laughs> that fast. And she insisted on that, and it was positive. Anderson says it's important to get the body in harmony before conception. The menstrual cycles in Chinese medicine are the foundation of one's fertility. There's an ancient Chinese saying, uh, nourish the soil before planting the seed. Kelly's sold on acupuncture, so she returned to Anderson. Simon is Kelly's second child. I didn't feel like I had to be scared like I was the first time. Anderson puts expectant moms at ease. It can really help to relax the mind. And helps them through one of the most stressful and exciting times of their life. If I gave up, I wouldn't have my child, and now I'm planning for a second one, so it wouldn't happen. Catherine says it's important to remember that infertility affects the woman a third of the time, a man a third of the time, and another third of the time it's a problem with both. So Courtney, we hear a lot about infertility and a lot about using acupuncture, but are the rates, the infertility rates increasing at all, are the numbers uh, yeah. Well, you know, Catherine doesn't think so. She says that research shows that infertility actually dates back to the beginning of time, you know, references in the Bible, ancient Greece. So she says she doesn't really think the rates have changed as much as we're more aware of it and there's less of a stigma, so people are talking about it more. You said it affects uh, men a third of the time as well. So mm -hmm. for this, uh, men can have acupuncture too? Yeah, men can have acupuncture. You know, she works with a lot of women, but she says sometimes it's a little harder to get the men to come <laughs> in. Uh, but she does work with them to make sure, you know, their systems are all, all set and ready. To go as well. How incredible that woman Tanya, she'd mm -hmm. been trying for six years, yeah. two months of acupuncture, and she gets and pregnant. Now she has a healthy eight month old baby. Oh. Cute kid, too. Happy ending.